kick an advantage here and Harding breaks away. There's nobody within about 40 of goal, so he blazes. And Morris is able to get back ahead of Cunnington. There it is. It's the Bulldogs by 70. They've won three on the trot. They are six and three after nine rounds. The Kangaroos are four and five. The margin today is 70 points. Nine goals, four in the final term. Johnson running back. He started a lot of it early, didn't he, John? He was yeah. terrific in the first quarter. Yeah, he set him up. He set him up with the first three. So, terrific win. Another 10 goal victory. They're seven for the year, and Barry gets seven. It's a good number, seven. We like it. And uh, the Gold Coast, uh, they'll win a couple of games this year, no doubt about it. I think they'll improve enough, and I'm sure it would be enjoyable if that was it in round seven. They won't work through it today, though. So the final margin, 71 points. The Western Bulldogs winning its second game for the year, 18-14, 122 to 7-9-51. Morton under it. Now Harbrow's got to beat Morton to the ball. He went to ground. Morton stayed up on his deck. Five seconds to go in the game, and he kicks the goal. Morton has kicked the goal. That's his third beat -in. And Morton kicks his second or third goal. I thought it was his third, maybe it's only his second. Third goal. And the Tigers have gone down here today in a pretty big way. The nickname of the package. This is, I'm told, uh, Lingy, the, the Dogs' highest score since 2011, 146. As they win tonight, and they win in emphatic fashion coming off the bye. And they have win number six on the board. They are six and five, led by Robert Murphy. Oh, Morris. And didn't want to soak up the remaining seconds. Goes to Williams, who fumbles it. Only mistake of the day. 13 goals, the margin. Rodney Eads boys are back on track. The Western Bulldogs, after their first round disaster, the hands of the Bombers. Watching their performance today, I mean, you wouldn't think they're a contender to knock over the likes of Geelong, St Kilda, you know, Hawthorne even, at the moment, Collingwood. Biggest score of the year for the Western Bulldogs. Rodney Ede, great win. One person's heaven, another person's hell. For Mark Harvey, it's a nasty scoreline, but for Rodney Ede, after the week from hell, they are in heaven, the Dogs. Goes looking to Zaharakis. The answer to the question, when did the Dogs last win by 100 points, which they won't do today. Round one, 2006. 115 point winners against the Tigers. But what a season it is becoming. The dogs continue to bark loudly. And this wonderful ride continues. Win 11 on a Sunday afternoon. Fans are craving, that's a 100-point win. But the Bullies will bring up victory number 13 for the year. And it's a monster win, 98 points. The bark just gets louder from the dogs. Where will this season end? sides. 39 to Dunkley and a goal. 38 to McRae and a goal. 34 to Hunter. One of the most amazing games we've ever seen. The Bulldogs kicked 21 goals in a row at one stage. It was the game of their dreams that they needed to keep their season alive and it was Essendon's worst nightmare. 21-11. 137. 4-9-33.